lovelies, I hope you're all well. So we are looking at the new blades and tips this week for the makeup and we are looking at the perforation blade today. I wasn't so sure when I first got this, I was kind of a bit like, mm, am I going to use it? The answer is yes, I am actually. Um, the more I think about it, the more projects that I'm coming up with. And you could go really complicated with it by doing something like a advent calendar or you could go really simple with it which is what we're going to do today. You could also do different cards with it, you could do gender reveals, you could do pull up cards, you can do flap cards, I mean it's just, it's endless with this tool which is something I really like. As with all the new blades and tips, it's only available with the Cricut Maker and in Design Space you want to make sure that you are connected to the Maker space. By doing this, it means you'll be able to change the line type to engrave, deboss, wave or perforate. So I'm going to be using print and cut today. I'm going to also be using draw and I'm going to be using the perforate blade and the normal premium blade. So we've got a lot going on. Because we are doing print and cut, the size that I can use is 6.75 by 9.25. I've got some text here, I've got an image from Design Space and I've got some more text there. I've also got some tab boxes here that I've just made out of rectangles. I've got some writing text there and I've got some stars here which I'm going to slice out. So we're going to do this in sections. So the first thing I want to do is hide everything on here except for the two stars. My stars are already welded together because we can only slice one thing at a time so we're then going to slice and I can then remove those cut pieces. I've then got all the pieces that I want to do as a print so I'm going to highlight it all and I'm going to flatten so it'll print this out but it will actually cut out my stars and my rectangle shape. So I've got my tabs here, with this one here I just want to align and I want to align left and align to bottom and then with all of them I just want to align to bottom to make sure they're all nice and even. I'm then going to change the line type from cut to perforate on each of them. My text here is set to writing, it is in the writing style giraffe and I'm just going to bring them into where those tabs are. I'm then going to highlight everything and I'm going to attach. So we're going to print this bit, this bit and this bit. We're then going to put it on the mat. We are then going to draw these text pieces here with our pens. We're then going to perforate using the perforate blade and then we're going to cut out this and our stars. So if we go to make it, so you can see it says print, draw, basic perf and cut. So we can go to continue. So we need to send to our printer first of all. Once it's printed you can then choose your cut setting. So the perforation blade has several materials it will work with. So if we go to browse all materials. It will work with corrugated cardboard, foil poster board, craft board, light chip board, metallic poster board, poster board, glitter cardstock, holographic cardstock, medium cardstock, craft foam, everyday iron on, glitter iron on, patterned iron on. I'm not sure how it's going to work with the iron on, I need to play with that. Copy paper, deluxe paper, foil paper, pearl paper, shimmer paper, sparkle paper, vellum foil acetate and premium vinyl and again with the premium vinyl not sure how that's going to work but we will see we're going to go with a craft board today it's going to get us to put our pen in and we're going to load the perforation blade now I just want to say with the perforation blade it is a rotary system so it turns it's in a circle so you do need to think about the cuts that you're going to do you don't want them to be too tight or too small the other thing with the perforation blade is there's no kind of where it starts and where it stops you don't know where that's going to happen so there's no uniform to that so what that means is that you cannot do a second pass because the machine will choose each time where the perforation blade will start and stop 
you will not be able to do a second pass with this. So we're all printed out and I've placed my craft board onto my mat and of course I'm just going to come in with my fabric brayer and just make sure that that is nice and secure. Because it is a blade, perforation blade does come with a encasing so you need to just remove that. You can see here it's got a serrated edge with little teeth all the way along. Each of those teeth have got a slit in them and this is what will cause the perforation. As with all of these new blades and tips they are compatible with the quick swap housing. So if you already have the quick swap housing from the scoring wheel, then you'll just need to get the tip. If you don't have the scoring wheel with the quick swap housing, you will need one set of quick swap housing with a tip or a blade, and then you can just get the rest of the tips and blades. I absolutely love the perforation braid. I'm really getting into it. I think there's a lot that you can do with it. Something as simple as a chore board, all the children need to do is just come in, tear that off, and then they can continue to do their chores. So there's lots that you can do with the perforation blade. You just need to think a little bit outside of the box.